Good afternoon, everyone. It's 3 33 p.m., Tuesday, October 11th. This is Francis. You're looking at the last image of a 20 image run taken from Mayhill, New Mexico, of the space where Comet Elenin should be um, this morning. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to do a blink. I'm going to attempt to make a movie, and all 20 images should move across the screen once I get going. If my luck is right, this is the first chance I've had to look at the images, and you're going to watch it with me. Uh, I've sent these 20 images out to approximately 70 people now before I made this video and told them to attempt to find the comet. If I do not find the comet in the 50 images that I took this morning, because I also have 30 more images I took with another telescope, the Gross-011, if I cannot find the comet, which means my images on October 10th had an RBI image anomaly, parasitic charge, which lasted from the focusing of the camera because the CCD cameras when a telescope focuses uses an exposure to focus and from that focus exposure to the first saved image there was what they call an RBI parasitic charge on my October 10th images. October 8th I couldn't see anything in my images October 10th, I thought I saw two pieces moving, you know, the, in the title, two pieces moving. The reason why I was seeing two pieces moving, as it was told to me by Mr. Leonid Alenin, <clears throat> that it was this RBI, and if I do not find the comet in these 50 images I took this morning, I don't believe I'll go back and take many more pictures of a place where Comet Alenin should be but isn't. Uh, in the 30 other images, besides these 20, I, ha I did use a narrow band filter, so if there's something that only narrow band can see, I should be able to see it. Do not fear, I use some different filters. Let's go see. Let's see what happens when I run this software. Let's hope it doesn't blow up on me. I'm going to go ahead and blink, and it's got 20 images in there. And we're gonna, let's see if it works. It's working, 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 working. I've never done it like this. So I'm still learning. And it is blinking. So let's move this out of the way. Uh, this will be the first time anyone's seen it move like this. And we're supposed to be like the telescope is tracking the comet. That line across that comes across one of them is the horizon is a plane, the equatorial plane, I believe. Um, the sun is rising. All these images were taken with an R filter, a red filter, which I've been told by my support guy, Pete Polos, Aussie Pete at Global Renoscope, that um, the red filter is better when you're in twilight or the sun is rising. I haven't counted all the images. I'm, what we need to do is count. I think there's all 20 in there. But let me go. I'm going to go. I'm going to see if I can count how many are moving across the screen. And what we're looking for is something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah. Two, yeah. So we can count. They're all in there. And this isn't. I mean, I guess. I mean, this is how they make movies of space. This is a movie of space that I made with 20 images. And I'm supposed to be able to see Comet Elenin somewhere in here. Somewhere in the center of view. Because now, imagine that the telescope and the sky, the sky is moving at a rate, and the comet's moving at the rate, and the telescope's supposed to be catching on to it. Now, I'm going to zoom in. I cannot really darken it. I've tried to adjust contrast, and I really can't do it. I don't know if I can do it with my screen, the actual, um, maybe I can. No. Well, I kind of can. I can do some enhancing with this. 
Can I get this out of here? I don't think I can drag it. Now, how do I get it out? So um, I guess I can go back in there, but not right now. I'm not going to learn about that right now. Let's get out. Sorry. What I can do is I can uh, I can blow it up. And we're going to take some time. We're going to try to look at some of this. Now, this is the center of the image, and this is where common element or the dust of it should be. If anybody's got this comet in a photo, it's got to be me. If the comet's where it's supposed to be, or the dust is now. I learned something funny. I said, well, maybe maybe it slowed down. Maybe it slowed down, and I should go back a couple days later. The problem with that is, in the space of a vacuum, a hammer and a feather falls at the same rate. So there's nothing slowing this comet down. It should be where it should be. And I need to find something moving that isn't an anomaly. Now you will see things show up. Hot pixels. I really need to find a comet in here. I don't know if we're gonna. I really can't adjust the contrast. I don't want to zoom in too much. I can look at all these individually, of course. Okay, so the images. Let me tell you what I did. Uh, I horizontally flipped these images so the horizon was like this. I remember I watched T-Bar 1984's video, and he spoke about the hor horizon, and he showed the horizon over here. I hope that I've, I've flipped the, the images properly. I wish I could find something moving. Um, I guess I guess Leonid was correct about the RBI charge. We just need to keep. I mean, I've got 20 here. I got to make sure everything's. Should be here. I'm trying to find something moving away from a star. Suppose I could be looking at stuff covering a star up too. How many minutes is this? Eight minutes? Let me back back out. And we were zoomed in here, we were zoomed into the center. Okay, I can move this faster. Let's move a little bit faster, see if there's anything. Let's stop. Let's go down some milliseconds. See if this... That's not going to help. Maybe we'll see something moving across it. I'm going to go even faster. Do know where to look it should be in the center this is some of the best imaging series I've took I've taken and see I've got them for the other telescope too that I need to get into I mean I've got the video that's the video right there it's kind of awesome I'm sorry let's bring it in oh, 
wish I could adjust it more for you somehow. Bring it in here. See, this is where we, this is the kind of, this is, man, show me something. I know you're out there. See, and here's a good one. You can see there's the rings up here. See how the ring stays the same? See that these little dust particles here. I mean, I thought, I, this is the first time I've done this many images and done this, so I guess I'm just enjoying it and I'm letting you enjoy it. But I wish there was a comment on it. Let me see it. I've got to be really careful. So it's, that's moving with it. See, there's faint ones. Faint, faint, faint. Make sure they're not. Okay, anyways, I'll send you all 20 images. Anyone who wants the 20 images, I'll send them to you. You can do this yourself uh, because I'll send them to you in JPEGs and you can do your adjustments and help me look and find them yourself. You can get the uh, an email from me with these 20 images and do like I'm doing, which is search for something that everyone's telling us is not there. And from this first 20 image run... I don't see anything either. Let me make sure every all the stars are okay. I'm gonna let you go. Come and get the come and get the pictures. Help me out. Let's play. Let's play. Find the comment like we are on my Facebook profile. Fuzzy was here. Talk to you later. 3:45 p.m. Tuesday in Texas.